welcome. Sleepy, grumpy. You're not that grumpy? Okay. You're freshly showered, so that's nice. And yoga. Yeah. Well, we're moving again. I'm wearing the same hoodie for the third day, don't mind me. Katie's uh, helming. So we are motoring uh, away from Spencerport. It was beautiful. Uh, there was a nice lift bridge there in a wonderful town. Um, we had a really nice night with Trio and yeah, what do you think about last night? Did you have fun? <laughs> yeah. A lot of fun, huh? I have food in my mouth. Oh yeah, she has food in her mouth. Okay, yeah. What do you have to say about last night then? Um, it was a lot of fun. A lot of laughs. We found out that dolphins do not mean actual dolphins. They mean wood coming out of the water. That was funny. Yeah, that was funny. Uh, one of the anchorages that we passed by on the canal yesterday, it said that there are dolphins in the bay. And then we spent like an hour pondering whether or not there's actually any salt in this water. And we, and we were assuming that there salt, isn't. Or, or could there possibly be any species that uh, of dolphin that is a freshwater dolphin? And we were Googling it and nothing came up. And then Roger, one of the crew members on Trio yesterday, he uh, informed us that the dolphins are those telephone poles that are cut in half and they're like stacked in a pyramid shape for big ships to tie off to. That's called a dolphin. Learn something new every day. With no lift bridges in our path this morning, we've been averaging higher, 6.2 miles an hour. That is a dolphin. <laughs> We're coming up on our first lock of the day, lock 33. And uh, it's about a mile and a quarter away. And you should have just put it right over the railing because then now you got to run the whole thing under the railing. <laughs> That's funny. There you go. So that was lock 33, a much different experience from 34 and 35 and even that first one on the uh, Niagara. They let out the water a lot faster in this lock, so there was a lot of uh, current that wanted to push the boat around. Um, we had to kind of tend the lines a lot more. I couldn't, uh, couldn't imagine what it would be like if it was a crowded lock. I wonder if there's ever a lot of boats. And we're about uh, three quarters of a mile now from our second lock. This one is just, these, are two, these two are a mile apart. Um, this will be 32. Village of Pittsford we're passing through. Pretty quaint little place, nice. Looks like there's some history here as well. Lots of people and boats. Next lock is Macedon. That'd be lock 30. Um, I believe it's
it's about 15 miles away. stop at all of them. But our, uh, the last you're on the last part, huh? Last part. What are you excited about? I'm She's almost done with work for the day. That's exciting. It's, and it's Friday, huh? It's Friday. I have Monday off. I have a lot of days next week off. We did it. Yay, we did it. Persevered. Hey, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Bye. Bye. Just passed under Wayneport Road Bridge. Heading about three more miles to Lock 30. waiting for the gates to close behind us. We actually caught up to Trio today. They've done the last two locks with us. Sunny, kind of muggy. It's kind of humid. The rear gates are closing. You can actually feel the amount of water that they push. So these, these lanyards go the entire way down. They get slimy once they go underwater. But we hold them. They aren't attached on the bottom. Some of them are attached, but the ones that aren't attached, which I think most of them are not attached, you have to uh, hold onto these lanyards and fend off of the boat. 
fend off the wall. This is what our fifth lock now? Fifth? Keep grooving. That's the uh, the lock, the lock dance. Oh, doors are opening. So we get another current that comes in with these doors. It's very weird. The boat will start going backwards, like it is right now. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Good job. Ah, uh, relax time. <laughs> There's a current that comes out of these things and it, it's so weird when the current pushes on your rudder and the boat and, and the boat just starts moving. It's very strange. My lock 29, look at that again. Wow, that's so cool. I mean, not cool, it scares me, but. My lock 29. <laughs> Today's view. Lots of this wide, widened canal stuff with part of it being like marshy. But then you have to stay inside these green buoys so the channel is really only on this left side. Katie's on the helm now. She's been on the helm for about five miles. About an hour. She's officially done with work. Officially, officially, if I haven't mentioned that already. It's a pretty big deal. And we are entering a place in the canal called the Wide Waters. <laughs> Wow, look at that heron. Made it. There he is. He has a ball. Oh yeah. Daddy. Give me the ball. Yeah, I'm gonna get the ball. Get the ball. Ready? Go get the ball. Why did I don't know why I threw it that way.
this is day. Our first. This is our, our third day. Our this third is the day. this is the third full day of traveling down the canal. We have. Sorry, no, you're that's good. That's okay. You're good. I will. We have um, we have officially crossed over the 100 mile mark. We actually did like 44, 45 miles today. Um, so that was like eight hours. That was a long day. Um, just about half a mile up down the river there, we can see our next lock. That'd be neck. That'd be lock 29. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this is Newark. 28A. Oh, 28A. Okay. This is the port of Newark. The village of Newark is, uh, it exists. It's 9,000 residents. They exist, this place exists because of the canal. I said exist way too many times. Mm -hmm. This place exists mm -hmm. because of the Erie Barge yes. Canal. So we are swinging on a park bench that is uh, 20 feet from our boat. This is a beautiful little place. We see a coffee shop we're gonna go to tomorrow morning. We're gonna do a lot of walking. Um, tonight. Tonight, and yeah. Laundry. And we're gonna do some laundry. They have free laundry services here. So I'm uh, actually in some new clothes. And uh, yeah, we're gonna refuel. Teddy's over there with uh, Andre and Janice playing. He's excited to be off the leash. Katie looks cute. 